Have you ever faced a challenge so tough, so daunting that you doubted your own ability to overcome it? What if I told you that the secret to your greatest confidence and success lies hidden deep in those same challenges? Well, imagine unlocking a version of you, a version of yourself that's unstoppable, unwavering, and unyielding in the face of life's inevitable challenges. What if I told you that the key to this transformation is already within you, it's already inside of you, waiting to be discovered, waiting to be unleashed? Well, I'm super excited because in today's episode, we're gonna dive deep into the art of transforming those obstacles, those challenges into stepping stones. We're gonna take that fear that you're facing and we're gonna turn that fear into fuel. And the challenges that you f are gonna face, you're gonna have challenges. We're gonna take those and we're gonna turn those into unparalleled confidence and success. And I gotta tell you, this isn't about su surviving, it's about thriving. I must warn you that this train of thought that we're exploring today, that this is not how common people think. What if the obstacles in your path were not barriers, but rather stepping stones to a more confident and successful you? Imagine that train of thought as you, as the first place that you go when things start getting rough. So here's an interesting fact. Did you know that the most successful people see challenges not as threats, but as opportunities? Opportunities for growth, for learning and self-improvement. Nelson Mandela once said, I never lose, I either win or learn. And I'm such a fan of Nelson Mandela, and that's why his powerful statement will be our guide as we explore today's topic, how to sustain confidence and success in the face of challenges. So as a pathfinder yourself, I know that you're curious about how to keep your confidence high and maintain success, even when things start looking bleak. And it's a fantastic realm to explore and one that really taps into the essence of what I believe personal and professional growth is all about. Imagine for a moment that every challenge you face is not just a hurdle, but a hidden opportunity. It's like uncovering treasure in piles of trash. So think about the benefits of this mindset for a second. When you start viewing challenges as opportunities, it fundamentally changes how you approach life. It's not just about getting through tough times, it's about growing through tough times. And that growth, it's fueled by a deep understanding of who you are, which is your character, your values, and how you wanna show up in the world. So let's talk about three things that you can do starting today to prepare yourself to handle challenges in a way to grow your confidence and see them as situations of success, even though these times are not the easiest or the happiest times. So number one is knowing your character. My personal journey and experience have taught me that confidence is solidified when you truly know who you are, which is your character. When you know your character and you know your values and your vision for your life, that's where you have a foundation for your confidence. Over the last eight episodes, I've laid the foundation for this by helping you define yourself. But even if you don't listen to that, listening to this episode today, we're gonna build on that foundation. And so I'm gonna give you actionable steps that you can do to help, help you with that. Actionable step number one is reflect on your values. Take a moment to think about what truly matters to you. What are the non-negotiables in your life? Write them down. For example, if integrity is a value that you hold dear, ask yourself, how do I embody integrity in my daily actions? Next is envision your best self. Imagine the person you wanna be in five years. What characteristics does this person have? How do they handle challenges? How does that five year you handle challenges? Visualize it in detail and start doing those things that that person would do right now, start doing them today. Next is set daily intentions. Every morning, set an intention that aligns with your character and values. It could be as simple as, today I choose to be kind to myself and others. And if, what I would do if that was me is I would get even more detailed as to what actions are kind actions that you will intentionally do today. So here's some coaching questions for you related to this. 
What are three values that you will not compromise on? And how have these values shaped your decisions recently? An example of this would be, one of my core values is freedom. So a few months ago, I had a high stakes meeting with potential clients and the pressure to conform and present in a manner that was expected rather than authentic to who I am and what my company stands for was very noticeable. However, I chose to stay true to myself and my company's unique approach and presented my ideas and solutions in a way that was genuine to my values and my vision. This decision to embrace the freedom to be authentic, regardless of setting, the setting or the audience, resonated with my potential clients. And it not only set us apart, but also built a foundation of trust and transparency that led to a fruitful partnership this experience reinforced to me the power of freedom of authenticity and the freedom that it brings when you can show up as yourself, not just in personal interactions, but in professional relationships as well. So number two is the power of action. I believe, and my experience confirms this, that our ability to rely on ourselves to take necessary action is a critical component of confidence. Action creates momentum. When faced with challenges, actions you take are not just steps towards solving a problem, but they are also steps towards building your confidence. So here's some actionable steps you can do with this area is identify a small action. Think of a challenge that you're facing right now. What is one small action that you can take today that will move you towards resolving it? Doesn't have to be monumental. Small steps lead to big changes. Next, you can create a momentum tracker. Keep a journal or a digital tracker of the actions that you take each day towards your goals. Seeing your process, progress visually can be incredibly motivating. Then next is celebrate small wins. Every action you take that moves you forward is a win. Celebrate it. This could be as simple as acknowledging it to yourself or sharing it with a friend. Celebrate it. So I have some coaching questions for you in this area too. What's one small step that you can take right now towards a goal that you've been putting off and how would taking this step make you feel? So number three, we're on number three, is learn through challenges. Every challenge that we face is packed, it's packed with lessons waiting to be uncovered. It's through these experiences that we gain wisdom. This wisdom not only helps us navigate similar challenges in the future, but also contributes to our overall growth and development. The mindset that emerges from this process is stronger, more resilient, and more confident. So here's some actionable steps for you in this area. Reflect on past challenges. Think back to a recent challenge you faced. Write down what happened, how you felt, what actions you took, and what the outcome was. Next is identify the lessons. From the challenge that you just reflected on, try to identify at least one lesson learned. How can this lesson apply to future challenges? Next is you have to adopt a growth mindset. When faced with a new challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? This shifts your perspective from seeing challenges as obstacles to viewing them as opportunities for growth. So I have some coaching questions for you in this area too. Can you think of a challenge you faced that taught you a valuable lesson? And how has this lesson influenced your approach to new challenges? An example, and this is one that I got from one of my clients with permission, is one of my clients actually took on more work than he could handle, leading to burnout. So when I asked him the coaching question that I just asked you, what could he learn? The lesson that he learned was the importance of setting boundaries and saying no. And he said that this helped me manage my workload more effectively and maintain a better work-life balance. I have a short story, a short personal story that I wanna share with you. There was a time in my early co coaching career when I faced a significant setback. It was a major project that I was working on and it fell through unexpectedly. I thought I was doing everything right, but it fell through. I felt defeated, I questioned my abilities and my path. However, instead of letting this defeat me, I asked myself, what can I learn from this? This mindset shift allowed me to see the failure not as an endpoint, but as a valuable lesson. 
I learned to diversify my projects, improve my planning, and most importantly, to never tie my self-worth to a single success or failure. This experience was pivotal. It was a pivotal moment in my journey, and this taught me resilience, adaptability, and ultimately helped me grow my confidence in coaching. If today's episode resonated with you and you're ready to take your confidence and success to the next level, I invite you to click on the link in the description to join the Unstoppable Email Community. It's totally free. I send you one email a week that gets you going for the week. It's a great thing. My subscribers love it. I hardly have anybody unsubscribe. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. But if you're ready and you're looking for more personalized guidance, consider coaching with me. Together, we can tackle the challenges that you face and find your path to success. Until next time, keep finding your path.